So I'm here with my friend Kate and we are going to unbox a manual portable washer. So um, tell me a little bit about this item that we're opening right now. Like, first of all, why? Like, explain to me. Like, what, what is this about? Okay, um, so I have grown up with uh, big, huge electric washing machines. Um, and so it's really convenient to have a washer for all of your clothes as opposed to uh, schlepping to the laundromat. Um, which is nice. Um, and on top of this, um, this washer uses absolutely no electricity. It's entirely hand crank. Um, and it uses something like uh, a third to a fourth of the water that a traditional washing, washing machine, machine uses. uses. Okay, cool. All right, so we are gonna unbox it. Here it goes, let's see. That's a nice knife. Thank you, I got it in Kentucky. I'm really, really excited. So obviously you guys, we're at Alt Space and Kate is gonna be in residence here at Alt Space and so what better place to be unboxing this particular item. So, okay, first of all, it's much more high tech than I thought it was gonna look. All right, so oh, here we go. We got a bunch of pieces So here. it's got a lot of stuff in here. So, so the first thing that we, the first thing that we pulled out was this big, this big kind of, I guess this is the, the wash drum. The drum, yeah. So we just pulled that out and it's got two pieces inside of it. Do you know the company that makes this? This is the Wonder Wash by The Laundry Alternative. Um, they have a bunch of portable washers. Um, this is their... Uh, this is their most popular manual washer. They do have another one um, that's a little bit cheaper and a little bit smaller. Oh, look. Um, I got some branding going on on the side here. Yeah. So, see? Wonder Wash. And then it says the laundry alternative. That's awesome. It's a cute little logo. Okay, so, all right. And I'm afraid I don't want to do too much because I don't want to be the one responsible for destroying it before it's ever been used. This looks like a leg. So, have you used one of these before? I have not. So um, we really have no idea what we're doing as far as assembling Assembling this? this no, the only hand washing I've ever done um, has been, uh, so they sell, um, you basically like fill up a bathtub or a big bucket or something, and uh -huh. it looks like a plunger with holes in it. Uh -huh. um, it's it's a, just a manual agitator. Uh -huh. um, so I've used those before, but I think we actually use like a dollar store plunger that we just just like a plunger that you would use in. too. Okay. Yeah, just for the whatever is a cheap so little. So we think these are the legs, and this is the lid. And the lid is in a sort of a little bit of a sealed, a little bit of a sealed thing. I don't want to open any of these things <laughs> because this is Kate's washer that um, those of us who are lucky enough will get to use. And then you've got another little sealed thing. Look, this, I believe, this is the actual crank that goes with the crank. Yeah. The crank washer. This looks like the All right, so uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead and that's everything that was in the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that on the side. So just so you guys know that Kate and I aren't alone, Miles is over here in the corner. He might stick his head in and just say hello, or not. He might just sit over there and pout because hello! there he is. All right, <laughs> so um, okay. do you see? Are these the instructions? God, I hope so. Should we open the instructions? <laughs> Let's open the instructions. Um. It got very, it got very like kind of Christmas gift giving time here at Alt Space. I showed up with a box and Reggie was like, oh, can we open that? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, this is a lot of pieces. Yes. All right, so we just pulled out something the instructions, the crank came in with the, the instructions came in with the crank, but it's also 
I mean, look, you got your little baggie of crystal meth as well. Okay. Wow. Wow. These are like the these least helpful assembly here instructions are ever. The instructions. They when telling you how to use Don't it. say anything about how to put it together. It's just got pictures down at the it's bottom. It's got some pictures, but I think from the pictures, I think we can it do might it. be possible. I mean, it definitely like this is clear, right? Is it? But it doesn't say I'm guessing that this is the outside. Yeah. Look at so me. Then the little... I'm being really bold right now. Yeah. I just and did that. And then there that. are little holes for the, the peggies, so. Should I keep going? Yeah. Does it seem like I'm on the right track? I think so. All right, so I'm I'm busy here assembling things, and what well, are you going to be put doing? Put the other one on first. That'll yeah, be that's easier. probably the. See, this Ooh. is why. I feel like I'm feeling very. Pray God you can call. This woman's work. <laughs> I did. I did say it. I did say it, y'all. Okay. Um. All right. It's like they're a little bit flimsier than I thought they. Well, would be. you know what? I imagine to keep it lightweight and to keep it low cost, they have to like. But that's, that's good. That looks good. Yeah. But you know what? I feel like now that we probably should have set. Or maybe, I think it'll have enough give. No, no. Now, can we do it on the other side first? If we start with this one, will there be enough give to get it in there? Or did we totally fuck up? No, I mean, it's easy to, I'm, I'm guessing it'll be easy to pull it, pull it back up. Oh, you mean put this side in yeah, first? Yeah, because this one's longer. And then... I think we probably would do better if we pop, it pop off, this yeah. off. Put it back on. Look, I'm not even going to pop it off all the way. Okay, I have to say, for not having instructions, it's been pretty simple to put this together so far. Uh, however, we have a little bit of a ways to go before we're done. Now, here's the thing. Um, the, the feet are on this little bit of an angle, so I'm wondering what that's about. I think it's to... Um, I don't know, actually. Maybe... It doesn't... Oh, you know what? I could see it. Is I don't it, know. Cause I, I feel like I'm gonna break it if I try to like secure it to anything. I can see it being like securable to a like a bathtub or a oh yes laundry tub or something. But yes. Oh look. Are they spent? Oh delightful. Cause they spent. All right. Oh, that changes everything. All right, so we had these little feet and they were facing out in, they were facing in, so it was like, do we, you know, have to work with it on a globe? But it seems like they spin and by spinning them, now the feet, so definitely this in the bathtub would probably stick pretty securely. Um, the floor is pretty clean, but it's not like 100% level, but I already can feel like that would be There's pretty, that would be pretty, yeah. that would be pretty stable. So then... So this is the crank. That goes on there. And then... Oh! Nifty pins to secure it in place. So there's a... Do you see a little hole for the pin on that side? And then there's one on this side. And do I just put... Well. Do I just put it in there? Oh, it's spinning. Yeah, I just... I just pushed mine in about that... Yeah. I, it doesn't impede anything, and I guess it gives you a ring so you can still... So, what do you think this is? Is this the rinse? This is the, the... That's where the... The water comes out? Yeah, so this... Oh, there's like some, some gunk on it. Poor form. Okay, anyway. Right. Yeah, so, so this is the lid. I mean, do we have other parts? There was that whole bag of... Yeah, these are little pegs, and, and from the very unhelpful pictures, it looks like they just... Go into secure, these holes? Yeah. Oh, they go, they go, I think they go under. 
Do they go under? I think they don't. They go kind of like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm suddenly full of doubts. Yeah, that's not fitting on. Do they go, are we putting them in inside out? Do they like, I do you think, have little? I think it, I think we're, I think we're in the ball. Yeah, I think that you just have to give them a little bit of a push. Okay. I think you have to push harder than you, than you want, than you want to, but it didn't break. It just, but it's, oh, this, it, it seems a little unnecessary. I think it's just for aesthetic purposes. I think my, maybe it's really just because it's, they thought it would be prettier. And this... There's a little, um, we'll show you in a minute, but there's a little lip at the top so you can pop. Pop them back out pop again? Pop them back out. So if so you I need get... to transport it, it looks like it comes apart pretty easily. And I feel like you could store most of the pieces. Do you have more of those pieces? I have so many of them. Can you give me two more? Absolutely. So, I don't know. I'm, you guys are going to get this whole thing. So, yeah. Are we missing one? This side is completely done. I popped one in already. So I one's popped math. in already. <laughs> and because the crank is on this side, maybe I'll hold it. I'm going to hold this side for Kate. Said the actress to the archbishop. <laughs> um, I, you know, oh, a life in the theater. All right. So, wow. And so that, and then there's, was pretty easy. And then there's a lid. Yeah, this is the lid. So the lid. Um, screws on um, and when I was doing all of my research um, this is a oh, that's different the, design from oh, that's yeah. what locks it in place yeah so spin this way and then this creates the pressurized seal wow and then you just and you just crank spin. away spin yep and so then my wow this is and it's so I have to say, when it's full of water, I'm not sure what it'll be like, but it almost wants to spin by itself. You guys can see, like I've hit it once and it's like going and going and going. So this would take almost no effort. I could be yeah. watching my favorite YouTubers and doing this at the same time. So I guess my last question is this last piece. What, what do you think this is? So um, to drain the washer, uh -huh. so, uh, when we, when we popped, uh, so this is unpressurized and then this is pressurized. Uh -huh. So when we pop that nozzle on, uh -huh. um, it will, it will drain the washer. Okay. So. And that's great. Oh, and it, and it, and it, and it has a little, you know, it's a little, it's like, it's kind of sprung. It has a little spring action yeah. going on there. So. And then it locks in place. Yeah. Super easy. Yep. So it would drain like that. I guess we'd want to put it the other way. And my <laughs> guess is you don't want this. Oh yeah. So you'd probably want to put it on when it's down. down. Yeah. Right. But, and so you that don't want to. the pressurized seal. And you don't want this. Obviously, you don't want that to be on when you're using the washer. No. This was super easy, super simple. I can't wait to use this. We'll probably do a follow-up video where we'll actually be doing some laundry. We will probably not show the entire process, but we'll show you what the laundry looks like going in and what the laundry looks like coming out, and then um, yeah. maybe even what it looks like once it's all dry. This has been awesome. Thank you so much for sharing this with us, Kate. Absolutely. It was really simple. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg and Kate signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself.